Beijing, China's capital city, is a city of contrasts, where the modern meets the traditional. With its rich history, delicious cuisine, and breathtaking landmarks, Beijing has a lot to offer. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 things to do in Beijing. Global Explorer. Adventure awaits. Join us on the journey. Join our channel and never miss out on our latest travel and foodie content. Subscribe now and stay tuned for more exciting adventures. Number 10. Explore Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square is an iconic symbol of China's political and cultural heritage. With an area of 44 hectares, it is one of the largest public squares in the world and can hold over a million people at once. The square is named after the Tiananmen, Gate of Heavenly Peace, which stands at its northern end and is the entrance to the Forbidden City. Throughout history, Tiananmen Square has been the site of many significant events in Chinese history, including the May 4th Movement in 1919, which was a student-led protest against imperialism and the Chinese government's weak response to the Treaty of Versailles. In 1949, the People's Republic of China was proclaimed in Tiananmen Square by Chairman Mao Zedong, marking a turning point in China's history. Today, Tiananmen Square is a popular destination for both domestic and international tourists. The square is surrounded by important landmarks, including the Great Hall of the People, the National Museum of China, and the Chairman Mao Memorial Hall. The daily flag-raising ceremony at sunrise and the lowering of the flag at sunset are also popular attractions for visitors. Overall, Tiananmen Square is a must-visit destination in Beijing for those interested in China's rich history and political heritage. Its grandeur and historical significance make it an unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. Number 9. Visit the Temple of Heaven The Temple of Heaven is one of Beijing's most iconic landmarks and a popular destination for tourists visiting the city. This magnificent complex covers an area of 2.7 million square meters and is comprised of various buildings and gardens that are steeped in history and culture. The Temple of Heaven was first built in the 15th century during the Ming Dynasty and was expanded and renovated during the Qing Dynasty in the 18th century. It was a sacred site where emperors of both dynasties came to offer sacrifices to the gods, particularly to ask for good harvests and to give thanks for bountiful crops. The architectural design of the Temple of Heaven is a masterpiece of Chinese traditional architecture. The main structures include the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, the Imperial Vault of Heaven, and the Circular Mound Altar. These buildings are all situated within a beautiful park-like setting, which is meticulously maintained and beautifully landscaped. Visitors can explore the Temple of Heaven and its gardens, taking in the stunning architecture and beautiful natural surroundings. The park is particularly beautiful during spring when the cherry blossoms are in bloom, and during autumn when the leaves of the trees turn golden brown. In summary, the Temple of Heaven is a must-visit destination in Beijing for those interested in history, architecture, and nature. Its stunning architecture and beautiful gardens make it a truly unique and unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. Number 8. Walk Along the Great Wall of China the Great Wall of China is one of the most recognized and visited landmarks in the world. It is a testament to China's rich history and culture, and a true marvel of engineering and architecture. The Great Wall stretches over 13,000 miles through China's rugged and mountainous terrain and has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Great Wall was first constructed during the 7th century BC, with many different sections being built and rebuilt throughout the centuries by various dynasties. Its purpose was to protect China's borders from invasions and attacks by foreign powers. The wall is made up of a series of walls, towers, and fortifications that were designed to defend against enemy attacks and provide a safe passage for Chinese troops. Walking along the Great Wall of China is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that offers stunning views of the surrounding landscapes and a glimpse into China's rich history. Visitors can explore various sections of the wall, 
each with its unique features and history, and learn about the wall's significance in China's past. One of the most popular sections of the Great Wall to visit is the Beidoling section, which is easily accessible from Beijing and offers some of the most impressive views of the wall. Other sections that are worth visiting include the Mutianyu section, which is known for its beautiful scenery, and the Jinshanling section, which is known for its well-preserved fortifications. Overall, walking along the Great Wall of China is a must-do activity for anyone visiting Beijing. It is an awe-inspiring experience that offers a glimpse into China's rich history and culture, and a chance to see one of the world's most iconic landmarks up close. Number 7. Discover the Forbidden City The Forbidden City is one of the most iconic and important historical sites in China. Located in the heart of Beijing, it was the imperial palace of the Ming and Qing dynasties and served as the political and ceremonial center of the Chinese government for over 500 years. The Forbidden City is an impressive architectural feat, with its intricate design, magnificent gates, and impressive courtyards. The palace complex covers an area of over 180 acres and is made up of more than 90 palace compounds and courtyards, each with its unique features and significance. The palace was constructed during the 15th century and took over 14 years to complete. It was the home of the emperors and their families and was strictly off-limits to the general public. The palace was considered the center of the universe, and its design and layout reflected the cosmological beliefs of ancient China. Today, the Forbidden City is open to the public and has been transformed into a museum that houses thousands of artifacts and artworks from China's rich history. Visitors can explore the palace complex and learn about the history of the Ming and Qing dynasties, as well as the cultural significance of the Forbidden City. Some of the most impressive structures within the palace complex include the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the Hall of Middle Harmony, and the Hall of Preserving Harmony. These halls were used for important state ceremonies and are decorated with intricate carvings and beautiful artworks. Overall, the Forbidden City is a must-visit destination in Beijing for those interested in China's rich history and traditional architecture. Its magnificent design, impressive scale, and cultural significance make it a truly unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. Number 6. Visit the Summer Palace The Summer Palace is one of the most beautiful and serene destinations in Beijing. Located on the outskirts of the city, it was originally built during the Qing Dynasty as a summer retreat for the emperors and their families. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist attractions in Beijing. The Summer Palace is known for its stunning gardens, temples, and lakes, which were designed to create a peaceful and harmonious environment. Visitors can wander through the gardens and admire the beautiful landscapes, which include pavilions, bridges, and waterfalls. One of the most impressive structures within the Summer Palace is the Tower of Buddhist Incense, a magnificent pagoda that overlooks the surrounding gardens and lake. Visitors can climb to the top of the pagoda and enjoy breathtaking views of the surrounding landscapes. Another popular attraction within the Summer Palace is the Long Corridor, a covered walkway that stretches for over 700 meters and is decorated with intricate paintings and carvings. The Long Corridor is one of the longest covered walkways in the world and is a great place to escape from the summer heat or enjoy a leisurely stroll. Overall, the Summer Palace is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Beijing. Its tranquil atmosphere, stunning landscapes, and rich history make it a truly unforgettable experience. Visitors can spend hours exploring the gardens and temples, admiring the beautiful scenery, and learning about the cultural significance of this important site. Number 5. Taste Beijing's Cuisine When it comes to food, Beijing is a culinary delight that offers a wide range of flavors and tastes to satisfy any palate. Peking duck is undoubtedly the most famous dish from Beijing and is a must-try for anyone visiting the city. The dish is made from roasted duck, which is served with thin pancakes, scallions, and a sweet bean sauce. 
It is a favorite among locals and tourists alike and can be found in many restaurants throughout the city. Dumplings are another popular dish in Beijing, and there are many different varieties to choose from. Jiaozi, or boiled dumplings, are a staple in Beijing and can be filled with anything from pork and cabbage to mushrooms and shrimp. Guosha, or pan-fried dumplings, are also popular and have a crispy texture that complements the juicy filling. In addition to these famous dishes, Beijing is also home to a vibrant street food scene. Visitors can try local favorites like jianbing, a type of Chinese crepe filled with egg, vegetables, and a savory sauce. Other popular street foods include spicy lamb skewers, fried rice cakes, and steamed buns filled with pork or vegetables. Overall, tasting Beijing's cuisine is an essential part of any trip to the city. With its delicious flavors, unique dishes, and diverse street food scene, visitors are sure to find something that satisfies their taste buds and leaves them craving more. Number 4. Explore the Hutongs. The hutongs are a network of narrow alleyways that have been a feature of Beijing's urban landscape for centuries. These charming streets are lined with traditional courtyard homes, shops, and restaurants, and offer a glimpse into the city's rich cultural history. Exploring the hutongs is a unique experience that allows visitors to immerse themselves in traditional Beijing culture. Walking along these winding streets, Visitors can admire the ancient architecture of the buildings and witness the daily life of the locals who call the hutongs home. One of the best ways to explore the hutongs is by bicycle or rickshaw, which allows visitors to cover more ground and see more of the area. Along the way, visitors can stop at local restaurants and shops, which offer a variety of traditional snacks, handicrafts, and souvenirs. Some of the most famous hutongs in Beijing include Namlugushiang, which is known for its trendy cafes and boutique shops, and Dashilar, which is home to traditional silk shops and tea houses. Visitors can also explore the maze-like streets of Qianmen, which is one of the oldest hutongs in the city. Overall, exploring the hutongs is a must-do activity for anyone visiting Beijing. It offers a unique perspective on the city's history and culture and provides a memorable experience that visitors are sure to cherish for years to come. Number 3. See the Olympic Park The Olympic Park is a modern landmark in Beijing that was built for the 2008 Summer Olympics. This impressive complex covers over 1,000 acres and includes the Bird's Nest Stadium and the Water Cube, which are two of the most iconic landmarks in the park. The Bird's Nest Stadium is a masterpiece of modern architecture and was designed by Swiss architects Herzog and de Muron. This stadium hosted the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2008 Olympics, as well as several sporting events. Visitors can take a tour of the stadium and learn about its history and construction. The Water Cube, which is also known as the National Aquatics Center, is another impressive structure in the Olympic Park. This building was designed to resemble a giant cube of water and is covered with a unique membrane that changes color throughout the day. Visitors can take a swim in the Water Cube's Olympic-sized pool or watch a water show that features synchronized swimming and diving. Aside from these two iconic landmarks, the Olympic Park also offers visitors the chance to explore several other attractions, including the Olympic Forest Park, which is a popular destination for nature lovers. The park also features a variety of restaurants and shops where visitors can relax and enjoy the views. Overall, a visit to the Olympic Park is a great way to experience modern Beijing and witness the legacy of the 2008 Olympics. With its impressive architecture, stunning scenery, and range of attractions, the park is a must-see destination for anyone visiting the city. Number 2. Visit the 798 Art District The 798 Art District is a vibrant cultural hub located in the northeast part of Beijing. This area was once a complex of factories built in the 1950s, but has since been transformed into a thriving center for contemporary art. Today, the 798 Art District is home to over 200 galleries, studios, and cafes, 
making it one of the largest and most diverse art communities in China. Visitors to the district can explore a wide range of exhibitions, from cutting-edge installations to classic works of art. In addition to its galleries, the 798 Art District also boasts a wide range of cafes, restaurants, and shops. Visitors can sample local cuisine, browse unique souvenirs, or simply relax and take in the district's lively atmosphere. One of the most distinctive features of the 798 Art District is its unique architecture. The district's buildings retain much of their original industrial character, with exposed brick walls, high ceilings, and large windows that flood the space with natural light. Overall, a visit to the 798 Art District is a must for anyone interested in contemporary art and culture. With its dynamic exhibitions, eclectic dining options, and unique architecture, the district offers a memorable and enriching experience that is sure to delight visitors of all ages. Number 1. Enjoy a Nighttime View of Beijing Beijing is a city that truly comes alive at night, with its iconic landmarks illuminated against the dark sky. One of the best ways to experience the city's beauty is to take a nighttime stroll around some of its most famous destinations. One must-see location at night is the National Center for the Performing Arts, which is also known as the Egg, due to its unique shape. This stunning building is located in the heart of Beijing and is surrounded by a serene lake that reflects its illuminated facade. Another popular spot to visit at night is the Olympic Park, where the Bird's Nest Stadium and the Water Cube are both illuminated in a stunning display of light and color. Visitors can also take a stroll along the park's walkways and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. For a more traditional experience, visitors can explore the Wangfujing Night Market, which is one of the most popular destinations for street food in Beijing. The market is full of colorful stalls selling everything from grilled skewers to exotic snacks like scorpion and silk worms. Finally, a visit to the top of Jingshan Park is a must-do for anyone looking for a breathtaking nighttime view of the city. The park is located just north of the Forbidden City and offers panoramic views of Beijing's skyline, including the stunning architecture of the Forbidden City itself. Overall, a nighttime stroll around Beijing is a must-do activity for anyone visiting the city. With its stunning landmarks, lively markets, and panoramic views, the city offers a unique and unforgettable experience after dark. And there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Beijing. Whether you're interested in history, culture, or cuisine, Beijing has something for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel and foodie content. Thanks for watching.